Hello everyone. 2021 can be rightly called the year of NFT in the cryptocurrency industry. Mass adaptation of non-fungible tokens took place in dozens of blockchain projects. Some NFT collections are now worth hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. We won't touch the subject of NFTs in details, because there are a lot of videos on YouTube about it. But in brief, NFT as a token is unique. It cannot be replaced by others and it is immutable. Every NFT token stores text information and works with smart contracts. This information can be linked to image files or GIF animations, texts, in the future music, and even videos. The Signum developers implemented the ability to create NFTs in the blockchain way back when the mass user didn't even know about it. So now it was decided to create their marketplace portal to popularize NFT on Signum blockchain. In this video we will figure out how to buy and sell NFT on the portal, how to create your own collection, your unique tokens and be able to earn on it. Follow the link in the description to signumart.io. Here in the header we can see a explore of all the NFTs, all represented collections, and language selection. Soon other languages will appear on the site, the community has promised to help with that. It's also possible to change the design theme to light or dark. There are buttons to create NFT and connect your wallet. The launch of the marketplace on the mainnet happened a couple of days ago, so at the moment there are not many NFT here, but soon with the help of the community their number should increase many times over. Let's take a look at the main page of the website. There are explore and create NFT or collection buttons. At the moment there are 194 NFT presented, 17 users have created their NFT, 17 collections have been published and the current trade turnover is 23,000 Cigna. In the featured collection section you can see recommendations from the administration of the marketplace. This block will include those collections, which in the opinion of the administration look the most interesting and relevant at the moment. The new item section displays NFTs, which were created recently and sorted in random order. The hot collection section represents the collections that currently have the highest volume of trade. The top creators section is a list of the top NFT creators sorted by their total volume of bought and sold NFT. Let's now figure out how you can buy NFTs. First of all, we need to install the XT Wallet browser extension. With this extension you can manage your wallet, buy and create NFTs. To do this we press the connect wallet button and we are asked to install the extension. I use the browser Firefox and as you can see the extension is already added to its add-ons. It is very important to check that you are using the latest version of the XT Wallet. You can see the current version in the installer description. To do this, go to the GitHub website at the link in the description and make sure that the latest version of the extension is the same as the latest release. If the latest release version is higher than the extension's version, you should click on the Release tab and download the latest version files. These files will need to be uploaded to the browser through the settings. At the moment, the extension supports the following browsers. Click add the extension to Firefox and wait for installation. After installing the extension, you can create a new wallet, or import an existing Signum wallet. Click to create a new wallet. We must create a secure password to access this extension. Enter and save the password, accept the terms of the user agreement and click create. Next, the extension will ask us to write 12 passphrases to access your wallet. These words should not be shown to anyone, you must keep them in a safe place and give them to no one. Keep the 12 words presented. Confirm that we have written the phrase and click on continue. Now you need to enter a few words for a check to confirm that your phrase has been saved. You can access this extension in the upper right corner of your browser. Click the activate button. In order to buy Cigna coins, I recommend to use Bittrex exchange, it is very simple registration and verification. Cigna coin is presented in trading pair Cigna, USDT, or Cigna, BTC and after purchase you can withdraw it to your wallet. I will not use this created wallet for further examples and instead, I will import my already existing wallet with a small amount of Cigna coins on it. To do this, we click on account, then import account. Enter your passphrase here. That's all, the wallet is logged in, now we need to connect it to the Signum art site. To do this, click connect wallet. Confirm the transaction. We can see that the wallet is connected. Let's now look at the recommended collections to see what ways there are to purchase NFT. 
Let's move on to the Signum Gems Collection. This collection has 20 gemstones, which are ranked according to their value. The value is similar to the value of stones in the real world. This is an interesting idea. Let's take a closer look at one of the NFT gems. In front of us, we see a red cuprite. Its rarity is low, 1 out of 5 and its number in the gem list is 19. This NFT is currently for sale at auction with a minimum price of 1500 Cigna. We have the option to place a bid price higher than that, or we can make the author our own offer. Let's try to participate in the auction and set a bid price. The minimum price we can bid must be more than 1500, so I will bid 1550. Click to place the bid price. Confirm this transaction with the extension. The transaction has been confirmed. Now it is necessary to wait for two blocks of the network, which is approximately 8 to 10 minutes, in order for my bid to appear on the marketplace. If someone after makes a higher bid, then my frozen coins on the smart contract will go back to my wallet. Some time has passed and we see that now my bid has outbid the previous bid and the current minimum bid price is 1550 Cigna. This can also be seen in the NFT history. Let's look at another NFT from this collection. This one shows the ruby gemstone. Its rarity is 4 out of 5 and its rating is 4 out of 20. So this stone is very rare, therefore it has a high price. There is no auction on this NFT, so we can try to buy it at the current price, or make an offer to the author. Let's try to make an offer at 500 Cigna. I have waited until two blocks have passed and we see that the best offer so far is my 500 Cigna. Now I can cancel that offer, or keep it, and the author can accept it, or just ignore it. Let's continue exploring the marketplace with another cool collection. It is called Theater of Chameleons. This collection represents 100 different memorable characters from movies, TV shows, and games, presented as funny chameleons. There are different ways of sorting this collection available to us. For example, we can sort by recently listed NFTs, ending soon auction, by oldest added, by price low to high, by price high to low, by total trade volume of these NFTs from low to high and from high to low. Sorting by numbers of likes given by users from low to high and from high to low is also available. Also alphabetically from A to Z and Z to A. In the left corner, there are additional settings with which the user can reduce the scope of the search. Creator status. Verified or unverified. Price from the minimum that the user can afford to the maximum. Status. Can buy now, NFTs are on auction, or NFTs are not available for sale. There is also sorting by attributes. Let's sort the collection by price from low to high, and check our balance. There are not enough coins to make a bid at the auction. Accordingly, I can make my offer to the author. Let's make an offer, enter 400 Cigna, click make an offer and confirm the transaction through a smart contract. The offer is made. In addition, we can give the author a like, thereby showing him that we like his work. This is also confirmed by the transaction. To see the complete list of available NFTs on the marketplace, click Explore. Here sorting is the same way as for any other collection. You can enable the display only images or GIF animation. Go to the tab of the collection. Here at the top are the recommended portal collections. Below are all available collections in the marketplace at the moment. Now let's go to the user settings. To do this, press the options button in the upper right corner of the website, then my NFTs. Here we see four tabs. The NFTs we own, the ones we created, the shopper, and the royalty owner. Since we don't have an NFT yet, we can go to the shopper tab and see the actions I did before. Specifically, I made an offer for 400 Cigna on Theater of Chameleons, an offer for 500 Cigna on Signum Gems, and I'm also participating in an auction at 1550 Cigna. All further user actions will be added here. Next, you can see your activity in your profile. Click the tab My Activities. Here you can see all of the user's activity, bid price set, offer made, and two likes. Activity can be filtered by different types. Perhaps this is all you need to know about buying NFT. Let's now create our own profile and NFT collection. First of all, to create your profile, you need to click on options, then create a profile. To be able to add NFT to the marketplace you need to upload images or animations to the IPFS network protocol. This can be done by using the Pinata Cloud. You can store up to 1GB for free in Pinata. 
for larger amounts, you will have to pay a fee. You are asked to enter the JWT, the token secret number. To do this, click on the pinata icon and go to their website. Create a profile, this is done very simply through confirmation by email. I already have a profile created, I enter into it. All we have to do is click on the icon in the top right corner API keys. Then click new key. In the window that appears you need to activate the admin switch and come up with a name for that key. Click the create key button. We are offered the data, which must be saved for future use because later you will not be able to see them. The JWT number we need is shown below. Copy this number, paste it into the Signum Art profile, confirm and save the changes. The changes are saved. Let's move on to the next step. You need to enter a name for the profile. I lead with the name, Brainy Investment, and come up with some descriptions. Next, you need to enter a link to your Twitter. If you don't have Twitter you will have to register it. You can also include a website and add additional links to your social networks. Now let's upload an avatar. Wait till the upload is complete. The next step is to add your profile banner. The recommended size is 1600 by 300 pixels. You can prepare such a banner in Photoshop, which I have already done earlier. Click Save Changes and confirm the transaction through smart contracts. That's it, the profile is created. You need to wait 5 to 8 minutes until it appears on the marketplace. Some time has passed and the profile has been updated. Now we have to verify our profile through Twitter if we want to see our NFT on the main page of the website. To do this click Options, then verify your profile. We have to do a retweet. Click on it. The necessary message is already written automatically. Click on the Tweet button. Now you have to wait some time till moderators will check your tweet and finally, we should have a verified profile tick here. Next, move on to creating the collection. Press options, then my collection, create, create collection. Give the collection a name and enter a description. Next, you need to add a banner for your collection. This time its size is 1600 by 350 pixels. If you want, you can add links that are associated with your collection. Press the create a collection button and confirm the transaction exactly the same way. Collection created. We wait again for some time. It took about 15 minutes, and now we see that the collection with the banner is loaded. Now let's create our first NFT. Press the create button, select the NFT and select the file on your computer you want to upload to IPFS using Pinata. Wait for the file to finish uploading. The image is uploaded, click the next button. It is necessary to enter the name of the NFT in its description. Next, you need to specify the royalty amount. Royalty is the value that you get from the secondary sale of NFT. It means that you, being the owner of the royalty will receive the specified percentage from each resale. The percentage can be from 0 to 25. I will set it at 5%. We choose the collection to which this NFT will belong. Then we can specify different attributes for that collection. For example, I will set the logo color and background color attributes. Most attributes are needed for large collections where rarity is important. Here it's just an example. Let's click next. Now we can choose one of three options for placing our NFT on the marketplace. Not for sale, which means that the NFT will be displayed and we can receive offers, but no one can buy it. Give a fixed price at which the NFT will be sold, or organize an auction. Let's create an auction. I will put a starting price of 120 Cigna. Buy now price is the top price at which users can buy your NFT without waiting for the end of the auction. Let's say I bid 5000 Cigna. Now I have to choose when the auction ends. I will create an auction for 10 days. That's it, let's create the NFT. The NFT is created. We are waiting for it to appear in the marketplace. Some time has passed, go to options, then my NFT. We see that the NFT is shown. The current bid price is 120 Cigna, and the buyback price of this NFT is 5000 Cigna. If someone makes you an offer it will appear in the blue rectangle at the top right. You can also see that I am the owner of this NFT, the creator, and the owner of the royalty. Let's take a closer look at it. Here we see all the detailed information about this NFT, that I am the creator, owner, its contract number, my owner's wallet address, collection, and royalty. What we can do next? We can update the listing details. We can remove the NFT from the auction, and move it to not for sale status. Change the price to a fixed price, or change the current auction. 
we can also transfer the ownership of this NFT to any other user. For that, we just need to enter his Signum address. Or we can transfer the ownership of the royalty percentage of this NFT to any user. In addition, we can download this image because we own it. The image in its original size is downloaded to my computer. Below we can see the information that the NFT has never been sold. 2% of all NFT sales go to the Signum Network Association wallet. In the history section, you can see that this NFT has been minted and there are no price changes yet. Also, I would like to specify that you should understand that to create a single NFT or NFT collection you must have some of your ideas. You cannot just download from the internet someone else's pictures, illustrations, or GIF animation. You'll waste your time on this, and also upload to the marketplace unnecessary images that no one will buy. Accordingly, before creating a collection, think about whether you have an idea if you know how to draw or you know an artist, are you ready for this? If you still have any questions after this video, you can click on options, then help. A website will open where all information about the marketplace will be available as text with pictures. In addition, you can always ask your questions on the channel in Telegram, or on the Discord server, the links will be in the description of the video. I hope this review was useful for you. Good luck working with the portal. Bye.